il entend ma voix, il a penché vers moi son oreille et je le chanterai. So today, because of the time, we were managing certain situations that have to do with the church also, uh, not uh, issues related to us uh, directly uh, as a servant of God, but everything written to you is also written to you. If somebody is weak, uh, I am weak. If somebody has issues, I am also in issues. So who we were uh, resolving this and they said you should go and uh, preach the word while my beloved are still out there completing what we started. God bless you. You, are, you have been very happy to uh, sing for more than one hour. Your Excellency, it's your first uh, solemn official coming after more than three years. Uh, God has given you the opportunity to sing with us for one hour. Praise be the name of the Lord. I think I will continue my subject and I hope I can complete it next week for us to have the uh, opportunity to go because uh, we only have uh, 30 minutes. I don't want us to go uh, beyond uh, 12 uh, too far. God bless you and uh, I know you are wonderful people. God bless you. God bless you. Who wants to go in rapture? Everything we are preaching is for the sake of rapture. Who wants to go in rapture? Who sincerely is decided? God bless you. I too would like to go. Even those who are on the other side, the servants of God, this is the reason why we are around. We are getting prepared. Let's stand to read. We are going to just strengthen one another and next time we will uh, resume with our subject and uh, finish it. No, we will say stop it because we cannot complete a Bible subject. We talk about faith. We're going to finish. It's true. But we will uh, lean on faith and move forward. Hebrews chapter 11. Hebrews chapter 11. Let's take verse 5. That's the first verse saying by faith uh, that's the first verse. Okay, now faith is the substance of things hoped for, for the evidence of things not seen. Verse 5 by faith, it means with a firm assurance uh, of the things that he was hoping for because God spoke and the experience was uh, born in him. It is with a firm uh, assurance of the things he was hoping for, a demonstration of the things he was not seeing that Enoch was translated. You didn't say anything. Enoch was translated like we want to be raptured. That he should not see death and was not found because God had translated him. For before his translation, he had this testimony that he pleased God. Amen. He received this testimony. But without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Amen. Praised be to God. Jamari, come back. You're going to work a lot today. You're going to pray for all of us so that this small meditation of a few minutes will be serve up the purpose of preparing us. Lord our God, the Bible says it was drawn but you that men have spoken on your behalf. May your servant be a channel 
we will surely hear the physical voice of our dear brother that we know, but it should be you through him. And our soul should recognize the voice of our Father talking to us. It should be just an instrument in your hand. Bless him and use him for your only glory. Your word is already blessed. Thank you for the reading of it. Now, lead him and glory be to you. Also, we want to be disposed. We want to be attentive. Keep the children outside every distraction. We should be focused and may our souls be blessed in the name of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. May God bless our dear brother Jean-Marie Aka. God bless each one of us. Let's be seated. You can see there is a lot to win and there is a lot to uh, everything to win. Faith allows you to have the pre things present and things to come. We always have issues uh, and challenges and sometimes we uh, have a lot of opposition on this earth like we think it most often but we know by the promise of God that uh, better things are kept for us. What is kept in store for us is f by far better. My dear junior sister Agiri, there is better for us in heaven. All those we loved and who have departed are better off than us. Those who are in the Lord and who departed are better off than us. Even if we are Weeping to tell them, come back. They will say, please, I've suffered too much on your earth. Your mom will say it. Your sister, your friend will say it. So please be comforted, beloved. And all of you, be comforted. Because better is waiting for us in heaven. And if some have to rest before this happens, and some will be living by the time the Lord comes, it's already written. But those who are resting have a position which is uh, really favorable because there is no more battle. If they uh, fought the good battle until the end, there is no more battle. They rest uh, from all their work and their works uh, uh, are going with. In uh, Revelation, it's, uh, it's written about them. They are happy, those who are going, uh, going in victory, but before rapture we should receive this testimony that we please God. Because you can be raptured, uh, having the grace to go and rest, but to, to manifest faith is only while you are living that you can be raptured. And this is why it's uh, really crucial. We are living in a very difficult situation and we are in a battle. And like Jude said, Jude uh, chapter 3, he said, he said, I wanted to write to you with regard to what? With regard to our common faith. Because it's through common faith that all the building is being built. It's through this faith which was transmitted to the saints once for all. And what is faith? Faith is when God speaks, the child of God who is predestined, he finds a support, a sure anchor for his soul and he has a full insurance of the things that the word of God makes him hopeful. Sorry, let me remove my jacket. Brothers, brothers and sisters, time is favorable today. And this is the moment whereby God is answering the children of God who have issues. Because, brethren, after death, it's too late for you to believe. It's too late to manifest faith. Because faith has some works, something to do things that are prepared ahead of time according to the promise of God so that each one of you might make his faith shown. Jacques, James says you believe to the message. Okay, it's good. I can't even talk about it because people can see the way I walk. They can see the way I believe. Show me your faith. Show me your abstract faith without the life 
of faith without the life supported by the works of faith and I will show you that faith is present in me by life which is manifested through me and which is in compliance with the word. I don't fear anything because I know he's here. He said, Abraham, our father, is by faith that he was made uh, uh, somebody who was pleased by God. But his faith was made obvious by the works. So when he started obeying, leaving his country, Genesis 12, etc., in the following, and when God tried him in Genesis 22, he obeyed even being able to give a son who was given to him by faith. He offered him as a sacrifice because he was ready to do that. So God considered that this already done. He considered his son as dead. And God said, stop. It's, it's enough. Enough. The manifestation of your faith is not invisible. It's clear. I can see. I can see you have a firm assurance of the things you hope for. You hope, you believe that I can make your son come back to life. Abraham, I like that. I like the fact that you trust me to this point. I like it. I'm going to make a covenant with you. And I take myself as a witness. God says, because of what, because of the fact that you obey by your faith, your confidence, and your firm assurance, you made obvious things that we can't see. Amen. Because, brethren, nobody ever has ever seen a ram in, uh, far from the civilization which is tied. Uh, no, there was no head passing by. God created it because there was a faith, a firm faith, a, faith, a perfect faith in that man, and it was in a need. God created what was needed for that need. So, the faith we're talking about here, the faith which is mentioned here with regard to our dear brother Enoch, is not a faith which is just spoken in the mouth. It is a walk, a march, like the march of Abraham, which is on a daily basis. God says, do this, and he does it. God says, God says, do that, he does it. God says, I want to do this. He says, I believe you can do it. And each and every day, he was growing, and his faith Faith to his faith was added what was lacking. And God made his faith go until uh, that level, until he could not add anything else to his faith. It was so perfect that God could not leave what is perfect on the earth anymore. Brethren, time is completed. The message will receive it for many years. But this is the moment for God. God to see our confidence in him in an absolute manner and which is rendered manifest. Amen. 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 He says in uh, uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 6, uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 6, uh, because 2 Corinthians chapter 6, uh, from verse 1. We then, as workers together with him, once again, he's been working with him. When he sent his prophet, he confirmed in a wonderful way and a supernatural way so that people may pay attention to his presence. Him, God, the man of God, left because he's limited in the flesh, but the word of God, which is remaining forever, has remained as a legacy for each one of us so that we may be in the same faith that God be revealed unto us. We may know that God, uh, Jesus Christ is God, perfectly God, like John was understanding, or Paul was understanding, or Peter was understanding, so that our confidence may not be a limited confidence, but it should be a confidence that is unlimited. You don't understand, I'm sure. You couldn't go to tell John that God is three persons. He said, the Son of God has come. And he has given us knowledge, revelation, to know the true God. And like Philip, maybe we'll ask him, show us the true God. And he knows that this question will be raised and the Spirit of God answers at the same time. And we are in the true God in his Son, Jesus Christ. 
because uh, he did not live it without any clarity. He said, in his son, Jesus Christ. Yeah, he said, he came to give us wisdom to understand the truth God. And we are in that true God in his son, Jesus Christ. And he continues, he said, don't ask any questions. He is the true God and eternal life. So when you have to do with uh, such a clear-cut revelation, brothers and sisters, your faith in this end time shouldn't be a faith which is suffering of any sickness. We should be healed in our faith and healed by our faith. We then as workers together with him beseech you also that ye receive not the grace of God in vain. For he saith, I have heard thee in time accepted, and in the day of salvation I have secured thee. We can still be asking questions at what time was it? At the time of Paul. Only he said, No, now, like while we are reading the word of God, it is still current. He said, it is, Now, behold, now, the church of Abidjan, the brothers online, every day, everywhere, now is the accepted time to. Uh, trust God and obtain your answer because before rapture your faith should be rendered obvious by the life which is supporting it is now accepted time is now 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 is the accepted time behold now is accepted time behold now is the day of salvation it was announced his name will be Jesus because he is the one who will save his people from their sins. This is the reason why he came. This so that people who are still in bondage of faith can be freed. Those who have been freed who walk and have doubts, the doubt should vanish because he said he will come himself. For your salvation. Redemption is not an angel, it's not a man, it's not a prophet. When the man, when the lady uh, discovered a Samaritan woman, I see that you are a prophet because you see things that the others can't see. But she did not stop there. She knows the prophet will prophesy, but she, knew, she needs uh, the Messiah who saves. She said, uh, it is also said in the prophecy that the Messiah will come. It is said that a, a woman will be uh, pregnant, she will give birth to a son, he will be uh, having the name of Emmanuel, which means God with us. It is written on the shoulder, uh, government will uh, remain. And in him you have all those attributes, ad uh, wonderful, uh, powerful God, Prince of Peace. We hear it in the uh, teaching, but Master, my soul is yearning for it. It's yearning for this day. We want to see this Christ. Uh, you talked about it. I can see you are a distinguished man. You are uh, somebody who is really special. I can see you are a prophet. But when Christ shall come, he will tell us these things. He will reveal all things to us. Because when he came, uh, when he came to meet Abraham, Abraham already met the Lord. Already met the Lord. And his name was changed. The name of his wife was changed. The promise of the son was made in the years in the heart of Abraham. But his wife needed the same grace so that her faith could be strengthened. It's not a faith in the shade or in darkness. It's about true faith. Hallelujah. But sometimes our faith needs to be strengthened and fortified. And the Lord has the power to widen and to strengthen everything. So he has come to grow and uh, to grow and widen the faith of our beloved uh, sister. So, hallelujah. When he was uh, standing there and speaking, he said, next year, at the same period of time, I, personal pronoun, I, before Abraham was, I am. If you don't believe I am, you shall die in your sins. And this is the I am I'm talking about. He said, I will come back next year at the, this same period. And Sarah, Sarah, not Sarai, Sarah, your wife, 
will have a son. It's clear. So in the heart of Sarah, something started moving because faith was there. She needed some strength. When a husband was speaking to her, she knew her husband is not a joker. Her husband told her about the event that took place. It's possible. Now she, she saw a man coming like a simple man, like an ordinary man. There were three of them. But one was there who could say, I. He could say, I. While the angels were saying in Sodom and Gomorrah that God has sent us to come and see what people talk about this bad life, a Sodom life, and a sexual, homosexual life, which is authorized in this city of Sodom and Gomorrah. We have come to see if uh, this is true. Every decision, every uh, uh, all, all those bad people are making God can see it and God is not afraid of anybody God will accomplish the same thing he accomplished in Sodom and Gomorrah because if the world becomes Sodom and Gomorrah the uh, righteous God will act uh, such as in the time of Sodom and Gomorrah and he sent his men when they saw the situation they did not say I they said we have been sent and they accomplished their work, they completely burned the city. All the surroundings, uh, the city surrounding Sodom and Gomorrah were completely annihilated. And God was, sitting, was standing in the presence of Abraham. No, no. Abraham was standing in the presence of the Lord. He started praying. You see, Abraham was before the one who can give back strength to his faith. He gave strength to the faith of Sarah. He gave strength to the faith of Sarah because you can be weakened at a given time. But when you become weak, it doesn't mean that you don't believe anymore. And God sees your faith. And God comes this morning to tell you that for rapture, you need a firm faith. The things of God, when you see the promises of God, you should understand that it is by a firm assurance of the things that the word of God promised to you that you are hoping for. This is the accepted time for you to have the strengthening of this faith for it to become firm. That it should be a demonstration of the things that we can't see and that are not. Abraham continued. The uh, son was born. God tried Abraham. He said, the boy that was born unto you, that you so might love, your, your only son, the one you love, give him as a burnt offering on the mountain. I will indicate to you so that you may know that you fear me. And he stood. He did not get into a family meeting because uh, uh, business between you and God has nothing to do with a family business. You know, uh, the, the command, uh, Lot, uh, sorry, Lot uh, came out. Lot came out, but his uh, uh, in-laws, uh, his uh, son-in-laws did not come out. Even his wife, uh, she remained in the plane somewhere on the pathway. Faith is something personal. It's individual. Nothing should come to be a hurdle to our faith. What is a hurdle to our faith is something that wants to kill us because when it separates us from God, we cannot be uh, accepted by God without faith. When the devil is fighting uh, against our faith, is separating us uh, from life because life is in Jesus Christ. In Abraham offered the sacrifice and God told him, because you believed in me, you had a firm assurance in what I told you, Abraham, from now on, I swear by myself, word of the Lord, because you did so and you did not refuse your son, your only son, I will bless thee and multiply thy offspring like the uh, stars of the heaven and also the sun on the seashore and your offspring will possess the gates of your enemy and all the nations of the earth will be blessed in your offspring, in your children. It means in Christ. Because you've obeyed 
to my voice. So today, Reverend James took it and said, you man, you are saying that you are in the message. You should see that the faith of Abraham was made visible by the works uh, which are the expression of true faith. The, f- the works uh, which are in uh, compliance with the word of God shows that the person in whom uh, these uh, works are expressed, uh, you find true faith. And he said that you who are speaking too much show me your faith without those works and I will show you through my work of the life I'm living that I have faith. And this is the faith we're talking about. Enoch was raptured. Enoch was raptured. It was translated. The Lord was uh, lifted up, but Enoch was translated. We will be raptured. There is a superior strength that will uh, just uh, uh, swallow us because we have the same nature in second picture it is said that we will receive now by faith to share the same nature of God and when the nature of God is in us brethren the day the day when the great the great God the wonderful God will introduce himself uh, will uh, and make a solemn convening of those who belong to him it will no more come down on the earth it will stop uh, in the skies and those are from there those who have the same nature with him will disappear from the earth to uh, go with him this is our rapture will take place nature of God should be found in you the murmurs, the complaints uh, that should disappear Enoch received from God the insurance, the testimony that everything was in order that you could get ready for the great trip. When you want to go in a city, in a country, you are, you want to go, you don't have any assurance until you have the visa, even if you have the flight ticket. When the visa is given now, it means that everything is gathered. The you now have everything to get the visa. Can you give the visa because it's Matthias? No. Matthias should comply with the conditions. He should fill in the document. Is the big brother, is the uncle, but it doesn't mean anything because the word which was given by the country to access this country, everything is documented. And the word of God is given unto us as uh, the testimony of the testament of God, uh, the old and the new. This is where you have the contracts of God with us. The clauses are clear. Before is translation, Enoch received from heaven, received from God the testimony that he, the stage he has come up to, he was accepted to God. There wasn't anything to be done. We say, yeah, we work with God, but Enoch has completed his work. When you complete your work, what do you do? You rest of all the burdens of your work, and the works are there to support you, to show that this guy is somebody who is part of those who had faith. Brothers and sisters, the Lord asked a question. We forgot to rapture. Let's take Luke 18. Verse 8. Luke 18, verse 8. Certainly we'll come back on it. I tell you that he will avenge them speedily. Talking about his elect on verse 7, you can read it. Uh, and shall not God avenge his own elect which cry day and night unto him? And this is the accepted time for us to cry so that we may receive the relief of God, so that our faith may be the same faith, the same which is like the faith of Peter and all the others, a faith which is followed by an effect. When you have a true check which is certified, you have the effect. When you go and present it to the bank, they will give you what matches with the check. But if it is a non-certified check, 
then there are many inspections that will take place. May God assist us. So here the Lord is asking the question. I tell, uh, and shall God not avenge his elect will cry day and night unto him, though he bear long with them. And he answers himself, I tell you that, I give you the assurance, I gave you my own word, say of the Lord. I tell you that he will avenge them speedily. Um, I can't hear you. I did not even spend 30 minutes here. And I can't hear you. It's not normal. But you are coming here for your life to be uh, full of assurance for rapture. Brothers and sisters, it's not your presence in the church of the that will give you the guarantee for uh, rapture is individual. Even if your father is a preacher for you, is individual. Even if your husband is uh, a preacher for you, it's uh, a business with you, between you and God. The testimony of Lot's wife is not the good testimony you should receive. Children, if you have the age to believe, you should believe for yourselves. This is all about the commitment of a good consciousness with God. This is the time for you to believe. Twelve years old is enough to take a personal commitment because if you die, your dad will sing, but you will go to hell. It's the same thing for all the children, for all those who are sitting here for a long time. You are in the church and your life hasn't changed and you think you have faith. It's true faith. It's not about faith. It's, it's not about joining the church. God doesn't need people who join the church. He needs people who are born in the kingdom by faith. Before his rapture, before his translation, it was personal. Before his translation to take place in him, he had the certification inside of him that he was accepted by God. His election was certified not by men, but by men in heaven. We don't want to get into all those disputes. When God certifies, there is no dispute and God does not uh, consult anybody to certify. It looks in you. You can be here 20 years, 30 years, 40 years, 50 years. God will not make a mistake. But it may come like Cornelius in his house. When God sent the word of God, he believed and he was certified. Nothing is late. Nobody should think that he has come too late. This is the time where God wants to assist us. Brethren, let's continue the reading of Luke 18. I tell you that he will avenge them speedily. He will avenge speedily to the category of people who are crying in their heart day and night so that things can be clarified and they could be ascertained that if there are two people that will be raptured, I should be among them. If all the church should be raptured, glory to God. But if only one, only two, every one of us should be sure, not be convinced in the void, but you should have the certification coming from above. Because everyone can say, I'm sure, but your assurance, what is it based on? Here is a question the Lord is going to talk about. He said, but he said, nevertheless, when the Son of Man cometh, shall he find faith on the earth? Uh, Brother Jean-Marie, this has been of concern to me. How is it that the Lord who sees everything, who knows everything, talking about the end time, at the time the Son of Man comes, he asked the question if he will find faith on the earth. I think that each one of us should pay attention. Before rapture, have the certainty that your faith is a faith that has the same value like the one of our relatives who came before us. Uh, next week, we will deepen this portion. Let's read in, sec in Second Corinthians. Second Corinthians. Chapter 13. 2 Corinthians, chapter 13, verse 5. Examine yourselves. 
we're talking about examination. I talk about mock exam and red exam. I <laughs> called it red exam because if you see red there, it's finished. Examination. Examine yourselves. What is it about in this examination? Examine yourselves. Whether or to see whether you have the highest diploma? No. To see even if your account is filled. God has nothing to do with your bank account. You may not have anything and be rich. Like Peter could say it, I have nothing in my pocket to give unto you, oh, uh, beggar. But what I have, amen. He had a faith that he could communicate. He had life that he could communicate. He had power that he could show forth. Not for himself, but for the, his master. So this is where we're going to close. We are waiting for rapture. God tells you and I, in the whole week, while we come back, please start examining the nature of your faith. Examine yourselves. There are people who are full of enthusiasm. It has nothing to do with faith. To know what? If you are in faith, examine yourself and try yourselves. Can't you recognize that Jesus Christ is in you? While we say, Christ, know ye not your own selves now that Jesus is in you, except you be uh, reprobate. Uh, there is uh, an examination to be conducted so that we can go in the upper level. When we were in school, when uh, the exams uh, come, Colossians, uh, Christ in us. God says, examine yourselves. Paul could say, I was crucified with Christ. My faith is not an abstract faith. It is a living faith. My former life, when I live, look at it, I'm a dead man. I can't react anymore like in the past. I can't speak like in the past. I can't behave like in the past. Why? Because something happened and I have a firm assurance of the things that I hope for. The life of the Lord in me shows what we cannot see. And here it says clearly, examine yourselves. Whether you be in the faith, prove yourself. Prove, prove your own self. Know ye not your own self out that Jesus Christ is in you, except ye be reprobates. If you can be reprobate today, uh, it's better, I can say, uh, maybe it's uh, better, but uh, not the best. I'm going to leave you on this. Each one of you go back home. Brethren, don't be people, once they get out of the church, they start chatting here and there, and they forget that we are at an important crossroad. The rapture depends on the current life of your faith. Rapture, God is not going to gather everybody on a Sunday or on a day where you are watching Brother Frank live while he's speaking. But it will be raptured <laughs> at that time. If it is done, then we will have sufficient faith. It can happen after the live program or before the live program. But before you can apply for rapture, God should look at your faith and your march, which should be in compliance with this faith. Examine yourselves. Paul said uh, f f the form former things are done away with. Behold, everything has become new. Examine yourselves to see if your faith is like this. You knew how to speak. Uh, speak for the sake of speaking and criticize. You know who can uh, just look into the lives of brothers left and right. This was in the past. Today, can we take the same time and pray for the brethren? When you find yourselves, when you are two, can you say with Paul, my life in which I was in the past was crucified with Christ. If I live from now on, I am not living anymore, but, but Christ lives in me. Is it possible? 
Can't you see that Christ is living in you? If this is not the case, time is still the accepted, the accepted time. We read in Second Corinthians 6 that the day of salvation is at hand. God continues to save us. Those who are drowning in waters, uh, they have the hand of God which is extended to them to take them out of the waters. Those who are strengthened, the Lord is there to continue strengthening us and make our faith grow because when a child is uh, born, it should uh, grow and strengthen. Uh, when it starts its first steps, it can uh, shake, but in a few days it will be working without shaking and it will be even running. Faith should also grow. It is fed by truth of the word. Let's stand. I think that for today, each one will go back by examining himself. The question was raised, when the Son of Man comes back, when he comes back on the earth, will he find faith? I should be able to answer, Lord, as far as I'm concerned, restore me completely so that I may be ready the day I, you come for me to be raptured also. I can't hear you. can hear your amen. If you don't want, you may not say amen, but I want. I want that the day the Lord comes. Each one of us could say, Lord, the question you ask, I can say by your grace, yes. And this is the time for us to pray for it. Ask the Lord, please remove everything that has nothing to do with the true victorious faith. The faith Enoch had that allowed him to be translated, give me the same uh, consistency of faith. Uh, strengthen my faith in a single life. You have the authority to do some things that in 1,000 days I haven't been able to do. One day is before God is like 1,000 years to us. All your Christian life, if it has been failure, Today, if you examine yourself, if you see that you are failing all the time, you can bow down after the service and you can ask freely to the Lord. It's a question of life or death because after rapture, all those who should testify of Jesus should be ready to seal it with their lives. They're going to kill them, literally cut the fruits and cut in pieces and beat them until death. While you are free to come to the church and bow down and ask God to increase your faith, if you have not been able to hold it, I'm not sure if at that moment you'll be able to hold it. I'm going to stop it here. Please examine yourselves, brethren, myself. I need to examine myself. Lord, come to my rescue. Come to my rescue. Because the time to be raptured has come. All the signs are red. Brother Branham uh, preached that the red signal of his coming. He said, when the train comes at the station, you have red light that will be switched on to say you should not cross anymore. The train is blowing the horn and they put all the uh, flashboards to say don't cross anymore in modern modern station. This is the way they do. Here we don't have, but you have red light which is put on to say the train is coming to the station. If you want to get on board the train, you should get your luggage ready. Once the train stops, you get on board because they may not last too much in certain stations. Blessed be God. The going is nigh. I, uh, I, I miss my uh, plane of, of Konakri with uh, because of uh, some uh, I was not attentive enough and I remember it with a lot of pain so I don't want each one of us to miss the best flight ever before his rapture the seriousness of his faith was proven let's pray together Chanterai